Hey guys and welcome to Let's Click Photography. My name's Dave and um, we're in the Peak District National Park today. Not that you can tell because the light smattering of mist that the weather forecast forecasted uh, turned out to be anything but so um, there'll be no grand vistas but it's still lovely it's still beautiful um, these conditions are fantastic and it pretty much means that I've got the place to myself well certainly judging by the car park anyway so I'd love it if you fancy a little bit of a walk around in the mist let's see if there's any photos to be had <laughs> Wow, there's been uh, quite a lot of storm damage. There's a lot of um, big branches scattered everywhere. Yeah, some of them will have been purposely cut down either before or since the storm. Um, but you can tell by the cuts that some of them have naturally come down. That is because of Storm Arwen, where the winds and the weather up here was horrendous. Damn it, I missed the mist. It's gone, it's lifted already. Uh, since I filmed that piece to you at the bottom of the hill and dense, dense fog, can't be any longer than about 25 minutes. And um, yeah, just as I was talking to you the last time I was walking through those fallen branches, I would see it lifting really, really quickly. But in for a penny, in for a pound, I still come up to where I was going to shoot and where I was going to shoot somewhere I've shot before. Uh, if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you'll have seen me come here in Easter of 2021 um, when we got surprise snowfall. I came to photograph this tree. It's called G Tree. And I've got a really nice shot with some snowfall. And when I arrived this morning and I saw the fog, plus we've got the snowfall. Uh, right, bang, two for one. I'm going to get this tree. Snowfall and some fog. It's going to separate it from the background, but we're still going to be able to see that snow peeking through. The sun's coming down from this way, so we're going to get some rays of light. Whew. This is going to be nice, and uh, yeah, the fog has gone. Well, in the bizarre turn of events, not long did I just say that to you that the fog was gone and um, it started to come back so I'm going to grab my camera again and take another shot this time hopefully with a bit of mist and fog in the background but I'm going to have to be quick because I can see it moving fast Before we actually move on to the shot, let's talk a little bit about the composition because there are a few challenges um, at this location. And like I say, I've been here before, so I know about them, but I think it's worthwhile just talking about it and, and some of the compositional elements that I'm looking at. So let's move this out of the way. So as you can see right here, there's a, a post and a fence that runs alongside and, and that's here to actually stop wild campers uh, a couple of years back there was a big fire on here through in this area massive fire started by wild campers and um, well the people who give wild campers the bad name anyway and so they put this fence up to deter them to deter them so i'm going to take it from this side but if i was to shoot it from here and if i was to use the wrong focal length i'm going to get this in it and i don't want that in it uh, the other considerations are it's extremely messy on the left hand side here and it's extremely messy on the right hand side here so we've got kind of a tunnel through with the tree that's sitting right in the middle and then you've got a tree on the left just here and a tree over on the right over here frame it really well um, but because the tree's going to be in the middle <laughs> there's a little bit of variance between where they sit in the frame and I kind of like them to be in the frame. So just working it and moving along. Now there is an option here to put the camera over the fence and shoot quite wide. And what that does is that it makes the tree smaller and it takes away some of the gravitas of the tree. So I'm not sure that I really want to do that. But at the same time, there is some nice color on, um, on this uh, bracken, I suppose it is. 
Okay, so I am ISO 100, F5.6 as I mentioned, and um, now I'm at one one hundredth of a second at 35 millimeter with IS switched on. That is more than ample to ensure that this is very still. And yeah, I think that is looking nice. It just goes to show, doesn't it, that always worth coming out and don't give up so easily, which I was willing to do. Wow, it's, it's changed completely around here now, now that the mist is up. It's now so misty. Oh, and it's so quiet and peaceful as well. So this is kind of the experience of landscape photography that I actually love. In terms of that experience, I think winter, as we are coming into now, what, we are two weeks away from it? I think winter could be my favorite time of year to do landscape photography, not for the shots. Personally, I love spring. Um, I love spring photography. Uh, there's a newness to everything. That's, that's my favorite season. I know a lot of landscape photographers would say that that is autumn. I love autumn, the colours in autumn are absolutely magnificent, you can't deny that, but something about the newness of spring, um, I just love capturing. But, in terms of the experience of landscape photography, winter is when I love it the most, and the reason for that is because it's just you, generally. It's you and the landscape, and you might bump into a couple of people, but for the main part, it's you and the landscape. You know, come out and the conditions are different than at any other time of year. And as long as you're wearing the right clothing and definitely, definitely the right footwear because I have fell foul of that in the past. I've had some cheap footwear and it didn't make my time enjoyable. Things like buying um, a down jacket have really helped to improve my experience over the last couple of winters. And um, a nice warm hat and, uh, and all of that stuff, thermal socks. All of that stuff helps. I always bring a change of clothes to keep in the car and I just get changed out of whatever I'm wearing into something new for the drive back home. It all ends up in the experience. Hot food, warm food, a warm drink, all of that kind of stuff. I, I, I love it. I love coming out in the morning. You don't have to get up so early. You have to go home so late because sunrise and sunset are much later and, and much earlier. You know, it's just a, it's a really, really good time. And I, thoroughly enjoy the experience of landscape photography during the winter thoroughly like i say probably more than at any other time of year mm -hmm. 